Hey guys, welcome back to another week of Chew to Cooks, where each week I bring you tips, tricks, and recipes straight from my kitchen. This week we are going to do a Hawaiian cauliflower fried rice. It is so good, you can celebrate the Chinese New Year with it and still keep your New Year's resolution. If you haven't already hit subscribe, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to this channel so you always know when I have new videos coming out. I post new recipe videos every Tuesday at 3 o'clock, so make sure you tune in for those. And as always, if you're looking for the full recipe, make sure you go ahead and visit chewtocooks.com for the full printable recipe. So let's hop right in and see how we made this. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to rice our cauliflower now. Now there's a few different ways that you can do this. I know you hear a lot about rice cauliflower, so I'm gonna show you a couple ways. The first way is you can use a food processor. So all you have to do is just take a couple pieces off of your cauliflower, like so. Now I'm using a manual food processor. If you have an electric one, great. I don't, I use a manual food processor. You're gonna be able to get the same results as you would in an electric food processor. You just have to do the work. So all you do is you put it in. Give it a whirl and there you have some cauliflower, some rice cauliflower. Now that's not my favorite method, I actually prefer kind of an old fashioned way. I use a sh veggie strip, <coughs> I use a veggie strip maker, and so then all I do is take that same piece of cauliflower and just grate it across. and you end up with a nice, beautiful rice. Now, if you don't have a veggie strip maker, you can just use a grater. So there's my little tips on how you can make some cauliflower rice. All right, so we've got our, our wok ready. We preheated it with the oil on there. And you wanna let your oil heat up for about a minute or two before you start. So what we wanna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and add our aromatics first, which is our ginger and our garlic into the wok. And they're gonna to start to sizzle up. It's only gonna need about 30 seconds before we add our next ingredient. You wanna start with the ingredients that are gonna be longer to cook first. So we're gonna go ahead and add in our shredded carrots. That's one cup or about two shredded carrots. Give that a stir. We're gonna add in our red bell peppers, our orange bell peppers, and our red onion. The reason why we're adding these in first is we wanna give those a little bit longer to cook. Just give it a nice stir, and you're gonna let that cook for about six to eight minutes. So check back on it in a couple minutes. Now, once your veggies are nice and soft, we're gonna go ahead and add in our cauliflower. And give that a nice stir. I go ahead and add my snow peas. Add your ham. 
and your pineapple and you're going to just make sure that everything's thoroughly heated through. Now once all of your ingredients are warmed through, we're going to add our sauce. Now I mix my sauce up ahead of time so I can just pour it right in. Toss to combine and then what we're going to do is we're going to create a well in the center to cook our eggs up in. Now if you don't have a wok, you can always use a 12 inch skillet. And then you're going to create the well in the center by just moving your ingredients to the walls and you'll cook your egg right in the center. All right, so with your well in the center, you're just going to add your egg and let it start to saute up. Then you're going to mix it throughout. All right, now that our egg is mixed throughout, we're just going to garnish it up with a little bit of scallions. Now, wasn't that recipe super easy to make? I really, really love the flavor profiles that come out in this. It's a nice little spin on a fried rice for you. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up so I know that you really enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments below if you like the new setup with the single burner and this nice overhead shot I tried with this recipe. Again, you can get the full recipe over at chewtocooks.com. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, because I post a lot of little tips and tricks along the way that don't always make it into my blog or into these videos. Again, go ahead and make sure you hit that subscribe button. You'll see a little circle down at the end, and that'll be your hint to go ahead and subscribe again. All right, guys, until next time, I'll see you later.